Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan, and we are back with more Unreal World today, continuing our Caveman series with episode number 17. And if you just tuned in for the first time, I've got a link to this series and all my other Unreal World series down below in the description, so check that out. But currently, we are too heavy to move. Oh, okay, I just realized that. Well, we're going to have to zoom back into our cave home here and drop off some stuff, but that's not a big deal. As you can see, we are outfitted for a big move currently, and I'm going to drop some of my bags of food probably. Uh, oh, I don't want to examine things. Let's drop. Yeah, we're going to move to the coast, guys. We're getting ready for the warm season. The winter is almost over. And we are going to be out there hunting some seals on the coast. So I'm really excited to give this a try. I, I've hunted seals in the past, but it was always just like a coincidence that I happened to come across them. You know, I didn't actively go out and look for them. So this time, going to be different. We're going to try and back I got some big seals now. Oh, that's what the problem is. I'm carrying slender trunks, duh. Okay, we're totally good now to move. But either way, we are leaving this cave. But don't worry, we're moving to another cave. So we are in this series devoted to not building any kind of structure greater than a shelter. You know, just a primitive shelter. And our lives consist of cave living. So here's our, like, the most developed cave really so far. But there's a lot of other options here in the other re Unreal World. So... Like I said, we're in for a big journey. Let's go ahead and make that together. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. We do have some traps set up here to the south. Let's just check these out. So far, nothing. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and disassemble these real quick. And we'll take that loop snare with us. Set them up at the other location. Okay, we have made it to the coast. As you can see, after a little bit of fun exploring, I opened up several more caves in the area, which is kind of cool. And of course, I didn't go into them and explore them. We'll have to save that for later. But we did locate this other cave right here, which is pretty darn close to the front or to the coastline as well. So yeah, let's explore this one. I grabbed some branches. We can drop seven of those. That'll be enough. And now I need to make a torch. Okay, the torch is made and lit. So let's go ahead and move on into the cave. This is kind of a small one, isn't it? Yeah, very small little cozy cave. I actually kind of like this one. Size is not that important, honestly. I mean, anybody who's constructed a cabin in this game knows that you got to learn to maximize indoor space because they are long and tedious. One of the reasons why caves are so appealing and honestly, this one would be pretty perfect because eventually I would like to put a door on my cave. And I know I said we're not going to do any construction, but we'll make an exception when it comes to placing a door. And that does mean you have to place two wall segments, one on either side of the door. Otherwise, you just can't. But this would be pretty perfect for that. I like this cave a lot, guys. Now, I know I've built up a couple other caves with some stoves and stuff. That's okay. We can have multiples. I'm not worried about it. Let's check some stuff out here, too. I'm just thinking, is there anything I want to drop here? Um, yeah, probably. The only problem with this spot, too, is it's there's no water directly nearby. At least, I mean, I haven't really searched that hard. But just based on the land 
in the geography around here i didn't notice any lakes like really really close by but unfortunate but fortunately i should say for us we are right next to the coast so hopefully that won't be too much of a pain in the butt either way it's worth checking out and we'll keep this spot open to us and it's like every cave i come across i like it better than the last one all right, and we are here at the coast, not too far from the cave that we just discovered. But uh, what I've been doing is just kind of killing time until, you know, the ice thaws. That's the big waiting game right there. But it's it's okay, because what I've been doing is searching the coastline like this, finding areas that have really rocky shores, which is pretty easy because most of the coastline's covered by mountains. But if we zoom back in here, you can see, obviously, it's still pretty stable out here i can skate pretty much as far as there's ice but i don't want to get stuck out there so i'm not going to travel on the world map i zoom in local terrain map like this and just skate through the ice and this is what i'm looking for these sea rocks out here because it's my hope and suspicion that the seals will come to these rocks and rest on them and stuff and not necessarily come into the coast. I mean, I'm sure they do come onto the land and stuff. But what I've been kind of doing is marking some of these areas. Let's get that off there. With these green X's. So anywhere I find like an abundance of sea rocks that look promising. That might have some flat land. Most importantly too, stuff that we can actually get up on without having to climb. Because if you see, a, a lot of these are really steeply cliffed here too. So I don't think the seals are going to be doing much climbing. But anyway, the whole point is I'm going to set up some traps on those little islands. And again, it would be great if I saw the seals first in that location. But even if we just set up a random one here or there. Oh, like this one. It's pretty close to the land which is probably why it's flat but you can see we can walk right up on this one yes beautiful so if we find some of these like this out deeper waters of course once it melts we've got our punt too so i'll be able to drop that you know in the water at certain locations and check our traps hopefully we can do some passive hunting and catch us a seal oh look at this yeah yeah this is a beautiful spot for for a trap right here and of course, with the, the abundance of stones, like this big boy right here, stone literally out here, yeah, it's going to be easy to set up some of these big deadfall traps. I might even set up a bear trap or two, you know? These are big boys, these seals, big boys and girls. So either way, you can tell I'm excited for it. So this is definitely a spot worth marking. And there we go, sea rocks. I tell you what, if we were going to build a cabin in this series, I think I found a possible location where I would probably want to start one. But um, this is the fortunate part about exploring for one reason or another. You do stumble across some pretty cool spots. This game obviously has random world generation, which does make for some unique landforms occasionally. This is not the most unique necessarily, but it's a pretty cool little hidden bay right here. So you can see the land comes together, starts to come together here, and boom, we got this nice little bay. On either side, it's kind of hilly with some old pine forest there, pretty sparse. You can see through the forest. I, that's the kind of forest I like. But then if we come down here to the mouth of the bay right here, boom, and it's cool too because the land kind of all comes down at a slope too to this one little area right here but you can see that this is kind of a special type of forest not special in the sense you don't see them as much they are scattered around the map but you'll find them in just one little spot one little tile you don't find like whole swaths of large forest like in the pine and spruce variety but the this is basically an alder grove here there's a few birch too some bushes and stuff and I really like little spots like this. A uh, rowan here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's an alder rowan. A couple of birches. Uh, yeah, but these are. this is the kind of spot I would definitely want to build a cabin in. Like I say, a little bit unique. Really, really good access to water down here. And it's just, imagine having a nice little cabin right in this area. Waking up every morning with this as your view. I think it'd be a pretty sweet spot. But either way, like I said, it's not for us. We're not doing that this time. We're just out here searching. Oh yeah, this was the right call. 
because I can move these slender trunks or even full tree trunks over the ice pretty easily. Now, of course, in the when the ice thaws, I could do this with a raft too, and it wouldn't be that bad. But I mean, this way it's just super easy. So I've in fact accumulated 10 stones, eight slender trunks. Now I just need a little bit of cordage, which can be difficult to find in a forest like this. Spruce forest, it's much easier to find the little saplings, but now this is gonna be great. I'm gonna set up a couple of these all throughout the areas. And again, haven't seen any sign of the prey. So we might be doing this just for nothing, but at the same time, if even one of them hits, I'll consider the entire venture a success. You know what I mean? God dang, there's not a single sapling. I might just have to go back to the cave or alternately we can just move inland here to actual spruce forest. Here we go, spruce forest right here. Oh yes. Very dark, thick area. Look how much different it is. And right away, I see a little sapling right here. Perfect. All right, I'm going to grab a couple of these, get some cordage made, because like I said, we're going to be doing more than just one. But um, we'll set the first trap together here very shortly. All right, we are ready to set up our first trap here. I've got everything bundled. No, I don't want to climb. So it's in this area. We'll set it right where the dog is standing. We're going for the big deadfall trap. Four foot of cord, no problem. Uh, a little bit more. There we go. Nice. All right, so it is set. And we should be able to see it from the world map too. Obviously, I got the green X here, so it's not going to be hard to find it. But that's our first one. No, I'm not going to bait it. For one, I don't have any raw meat. And number two, it's not necessary. I think we'll still... Well, I have no idea if we'll catch anything. But it should, if there are seals in the area and they stumble upon it, it will trigger. But uh, okay, we've got a second one set up over here just a little bit farther out into the deeper water so this is a really good spot i'm gonna put it right to the right here yep where the dog's at so let's repeat there we go all right what's better than one big deadfall trap two big fall big deadfall traps out here so first spot is set up there it is looking good they're hard to see but again we've got our boat so we're not, we don't even need to necessarily, yeah, you can't even barely see it from the shoreline there, but again, we'll be okay. We'll find them, hopefully. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's possible I'll lose some of them, but all right, let's go up to the another, to another green X here, just to the north and uh, set a couple more traps there. Well, I decided to come back to the cave and it is just over to the northeast, but I found a nice little clearing over here behind it, which we're going to set our traps up in because we're still in need of feathers. So I've just got three traps here, no bait in them. We're still going to try and test that out and just having a little snack here, but I wanted to come back to the cave so I could drop off the punt and all the axes and weapons I've got just because I, I figured, you know what, might as well start making some of those traps. What's the point in just marking these areas out here with axes? You know, it, I could literally just make the traps now and just have them ready. Well, you know, maybe we'll even get lucky and we could catch one before the spring thaw although i don't know i have yet to even see a seal yet so but either way like i said that's my brilliant idea and oh you know what damn it i probably should have kept the punt with me uh yeah it's worth going back i think because i've also got that extra bag of food on me so we'll head back to the cave just because i want to play it safe you know it, we are very close look it's already warm enough you can see the little red bar peeking out so this ice could thaw at any time and i do not want to get stuck without a watercraft still waiting for that ice to thaw not quite cold enough so let's come to our second location here oh look at this somebody was nice enough to already set up all the wood and ingredients we'll need here look at this too i've noticed some uh a very curious little squirrel has been out here 
traipsing about, I guess he was wondering what, who's, what kind of an idiot would lug all this wood out to a tiny little island. Well, it's me, Squirrel. In fact, we've got enough for two big traps here. So, as promised, we're going to do a bear trap. I don't know how effective it's going to be, but we're going to try it. There was three trunks already downed in the forest nearby me, so I just took advantage of those. And very close to the other one, we're going to set a big deadfall. There we go. Oh, wait, are my short slender branches? How's that? Oh, okay, well, hold on a second. Okay, there we go. And we do have the tying equipment. Beautiful. Okay, I would have spaced these out on the different islands, but I don't like the other islands in this cluster. That one's too steep. I can't get up on it. And this one here is a little too close to the shore. I mean, maybe the seals will go on there, but that one a little bit farther out. That's a good spot. So, yeah, I can't get up on this one. Nope. And that looks good to me. Yeah, that's just a well-trapped little island there. So, move it on to the next the trap building continues here, but we're visited by another creature of the woods. A little fox has come up, and he's not in his winter coat, which is encouraging to me. It's still pretty cold out here. Well, it's gotten colder, but we are closer to the summer. I mean, day six of the 12th week before midsummer point. Of course, that doesn't mean much. It can still be pretty cold at this point in the game, but I'm doing the same old thing, just setting up some traps. I got one all the way out here on this little spit of an island. There it is. But these are all pretty much clustered around the cave, the little cave that we just found. I mean, that other one to the south is still right there too, but that's what I'm going to do is kind of focus on this patch here. And of course, you know, wherever the seals take us, I'm willing to follow. But uh, for now, since it's just kind of a blind shot in the dark, I figured this is as good a spot as any. Wow, so I found another really interesting spot. This is something I've never actually seen before than an island like this. I mean, I've seen islands in certain ways, obviously the small ones that we've been looking at, but something like this, which is just right off the shore, but actually large enough, you could build a straight up cottage on this, have a little farm. What type of soil is this? Hold on, let's get on here. I want to look at that. It just says ankle deep snow. It's possible to tell right now. At least I don't know of a way. We'll have to wait till it melts. But this has definitely got potential, right? For some seals. I could see a whole herd of them settling over here. It's, um, again, not very far. It's just south of where we've been setting traps. I came down to this other cave. Check it out. Make sure I didn't leave anything there. And uh, started along the coast. Found this sweet little spot. So... Very unique. Never seen anything like this in the Unreal world. But again, you know, it's random generation, so each world is different. And I don't often spend that many, that much time just combing the coastline and stuff. So there might be other islands like this out there. Either way, I'm definitely going to mark this spot. Let's not go too far from it. Oh, look, I already see a log here. That's good. I'm not spending time cutting down trees unless it's for slender trunks. But if I happen to find like three tree trunks nearby, I will just move those right over to our new island here. Oh, yeah, we'll set up some bear traps on this one, too. Man, again, this is another spot that almost makes me want to break our own rules and start to construct a cabin. Let me tell you what, guys, I've kind of fallen in love with this place. Don't worry, we're not going to set up a base here, nothing like that. But I have gone a little bit crazy and set up several traps along this island. Who knows if they're going to hit, but, well, we're just, you know, killing time. As I said, I'm really just waiting for it to warm up, so there's not much else to do. I could just be out there hunting, but this is more fun right now for me. So I've got myself enough stuff. Let's set up a bear trap. And I've been setting all my traps here along the coast of this little island. Uh, yeah, there we go. Boom. So I actually did cut down a tree for this one. Just one. I found two other tree trunks, but there we go. And if we zoom out a little bit, there we go. You can see I've got a big deadfall here, here, and here. And I'm still thinking I want to put like another one there and on this corner here. That'll be 
pretty close to all, you know, entrance ways covered. But again, I mean, what if the seals never even show up in this area? That would be kind of lame. But uh, maybe we'll just leave it as is now. Four traps on this little island. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Of course, I've got a marked here. This whole coastline is just, I've claimed it basically. So I'm really excited. And I was hoping that we could get to a nice, like, green ground here to in today's episode i don't know maybe we still can if we sleep here we should probably return to our cave it's just to the south this way i can actually get a full night's rest instead of constantly waking up from the weather all right so this is this is not the smaller cave this is the one we constructed our little oven in which is good okay uh, it's this is an awkward one and I don't love this cave just because the cliffs are a little funny but either way we're fine all right there we go oh shoot still frosty out here on the ground in fact I think it got a little colder as the day went by but we're making it guys I have a feeling in the next one we're gonna start to see that green grass pop up and stuff so I'm really excited in the meantime I might start to prepare the caves a little bit one commenter pointed out that I think in order to smoke in here I need not just a stove but I also need to set up like the uh, roof and floor tile where I'm gonna actually be standing and smoking too which makes a lot of sense I think that might be the way to go as well and if we can get away with doing that without putting a door on here, that would be fantastic. But just a little extra work, you know, got to get together some boards and some slender trunks. So it won't be too hard to test that. But if we do need to put a door on here, then that's definitely something that could occupy the last couple of weeks before the, you know, ice thaws. So we'll look to that for our next episode. But I appreciate everybody coming by today. I really hope you are enjoying the Caveman series. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Of course, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will see you all on the next one. Hey everyone, I just want to give a personal thank you to my Patreon supporters. Their contributions help make my work possible, and I am tremendously grateful to them. I'd also like to extend an invitation to you to help support my work on Patreon as well. Your donations allow me to upgrade my PC and avoid the dreaded hardware despair. It also gives me more time to devote to new projects and create longer content such as live streaming. No matter what what you decide. Thank you for visiting my channel.